when we used to talk about Asia, uh, for yeah. sure, um, I, maybe I, I have a question that maybe you could help me. Which countries do you think could have a better uh, economic integration between yeah. them in the near future, mainly to compete for uh, frontally, for example, versus China? Especially FTAs, uh, free trade mm -hmm. agreements. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, I was very pleasantly uh, surprised to see just this past week, Mexico and Korea signed a FTA. They yes. finally signed it. Yes. They signed yes. it. Yes. So this was last week. So, uh, and, and, and by really... the way, Professor, uh, sorry to interrupt you, but here in Monterey that I'm, 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 I'm from, uh, we have a lot of Korean uh, 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 colleagues from you and also a lot of Korean uh, companies uh, yeah. because here we have, for example, Kia Motors and some Hyundai uh, factories. So there is a, a big Korean community here in Montreal, and good to hear. Uh, and we hear. have a, uh, we have uh, some. And a lot of people. them were started because of the uh, NAFTA. Yes, this was their yes. entry into NAFTA. Absolutely, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that you are right. Uh, this uh, FTA has uh, a, a few a few days that have been signed signed uh, in a formal way, but they yeah. have been started working on it. Uh, for I would say a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah, and the same with the yes. the one with the Mer Mercosur. So, mm -hmm. so that that I think will be signed uh, uh, soon as well. So, so I think uh, uh, I think they're headed in the right direction because mm -hmm. I see this as being one of the biggest uh, challenges for not only Korea but uh, also other companies dealing with uh, China. Uh, and um, I think for a while uh, it's been easy. Uh, I, 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 don't, I think uh, easy is, uh, it's a dangerous word <laughs> because um, you don't want things to be easy in life yes. uh, because you get complacent, you don't grow. Absolutely. And even at my age, uh, I feel that I can grow. And that's why I'm learning Italian uh, awesome. to, to, to grow. Uh, and, and, the, and the fact that I speak Spanish helps because as you know, uh, the, the syntax is the same. Um, of course, there are a lot of differences, Absolutely. Uh, but, but, but culturally, the Spanish speaking countries, Spain, let's say, and Italy are very different in terms of their uh, style and so on. So I, I wanted to learn more about the Italian culture, and that's why I'm taking uh, Italian. So so, so uh, uh, going to say was uh, a country is like a company, and, and companies when they don't don't divert, uh, excuse me, diversify. Mm -hmm. That's dangerous. And Korea. Yeah. Uh, originally, it was uh, Japan, then it was the U.S., and then it was China. They took the easy way out, uh, but there are a lot of red flags uh, mm -hmm. concerning uh, the U.S. for Korea, mm -hmm. and there are even maybe uh, uh, more red flags concerning China for uh, Korea. Uh, and I think that's one of the biggest... Um, uh, challenges that Korean companies will have uh, trying to distance or lower their dependency on uh, China. And uh, I, I think it stems from not just uh, uh, business or economics, but politics. I hate politics. As a person, I hate, uh, and, and I'm sure your school is like that. Even schools are political. Schools yeah. are political. All organizations are political. Uh, but <laughs> branding, marketing should not be political. But Absolutely. unfortunately, uh, the, the politics nowadays uh, are, they're creeping into how companies uh, are marketed. 
uh, I mean, there's so many examples to speak of. All the Chinese brands have been negatively impacted because mm -hmm. what's going on between China and everyone. Yes. China is now the whipping boy. And I feel sad for all these Chinese brands like Alibaba, like uh, uh, Huawei, and, uh, yes. and they become victims. Uh, of course, maybe they did something wrong, but, but again, one would guess it was at the behest of what the government uh, mm -hmm. has wanted from their companies. So uh, their brands have been tarnished abroad, not because of what they have done, but because of what uh, China is doing. Uh, and uh, so politics do matter in marketing. I, I, that, that is another topic, yeah. which I don't think is seldomly discussed. And even Japan, mm -hmm. as uh, uh, someone who uh, has worked with a Japanese company, uh, they too have been impacted. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, that's right. I think that's something that maybe a lot of your uh, students will not know, but uh, the last um, maybe decade or so has been a very bad time in terms of uh, relationships between Korea and Japan, Korea and mm -hmm. uh, China. And, uh, and so I, I think ultimately it has negatively impacted uh, a lot of the brands because uh, when China says Korea cu culture is invading China, which they did, uh, well then uh, the, the, there was uh, uh, um, a more control on the kind of cultural content mm -hmm. such as uh, K-pop and K-drama mm -hmm. that could go into uh, China. Uh, same with Japan. Uh, so, uh, and, 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 and as a movie maker, I feel that it's so sad because I love Chinese movies. I love Jap Japanese movies, mm -hmm. uh, but maybe more so before, because even uh, the content of uh, a lot of these movies, especially from China, is much more, um, again, if you have Chinese students, I apologize, but, uh, <laughs> But, but again, uh, it, it's uh, not as balanced as before in terms of what the content is. I think it's much more, uh, uh, propaganda might be a strong word, but, but again, uh, it, it is maybe just uh, unidimensional. Let me use that word, unidimensional I, in I the kind of message that they're trying to send. Give us a like about this video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks again and see you soon.